Hello! In this video, we will be discussing the pancreatic enzyme elastase, also known as elastase 1. It is produced in, you guessed it, the pancreas. From here, elastase is secreted into the duodenum. Once in the duodenum, elastase 1 aids in digestion by breaking down elastin, which is an insoluble protein found in connective tissues like ligaments and major arteries. Meats in our diets contain connective tissues, and having an enzyme to break them down is important for proper digestion. The primary structure of elastase 1 includes the following amino acid residues, valine, valine, glycine, glycine, threonine, glutamic acid, alanine, glutamine. I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you. That would take forever. Stephanie is here with a better description for the structure of elastase. Elastase 1 is a small, compact, globular enzyme with a hydrophobic core. The primary structure is a single polypeptide chain containing 240 residues. Featured in the secondary structure are two anti-parallel beta barrel domains, as well as a few alpha helices. Additionally, there are four disulfide bridges present, which help to stabilize the enzyme. The specificity site consists of a valine-227 and a threonine-239. These residues make the site rather narrow, allowing only small hydrophobic residues, such as alanine, into the specificity site. The narrow property of the specificity site is important. Mutations where valine-227 or threonine-239 are absent will ruin the integrity and function of the site. There are several skin disorders linked to this mutation, such as psoriasis and eczema. Elastase is a serine protease and belongs to the chymotrypsin-like elastase family. As a result, the mechanism for elastase with elastin is virtually identical to the mechanism for chymotrypsin. There are three residues that line the active site, histidine 71, spartic acid 119, and serine 214. The reaction starts with histidine 71 acting as a base and extracting a hydrogen from serine 214, creating an alkoxide. The alkoxide attacks the carbonyl of elastin, forming a tetrahedral intermediate. Resonance with the intermediate's oxygen anion causes the amine bonded to the R group to be released from the intermediate. Then, the amine dissociates from the histidine 71, resulting as the first product in the overall mechanism. After the release of the first product, a water molecule comes in. The water molecule protonates histidine 71 producing a reactive hydroxide molecule. This hydroxide attacks the acyl enzyme complex, resulting in the formation of another tetrahedral intermediate. This tetrahedral also collapses due to resonance, creating the second product. Overall, the reaction creates two products, an amine and a carboxylic acid, and regenerates the enzyme's active site. Elastase 1 is a serine protease that breaks down elastin, an insoluble protein found in connective tissues. Since meat is made up of connective tissues, elastase 1 is a necessary enzyme for the digestion of meat found in our diet. So without elastase 1, you could not enjoy the steak you had for dinner last night. Well, I suppose you could. It just would be a rough night trying to digest it. So be sure to thank elastase for the proper digestion of your steak.